Bangalore was reportedly killed after he received a parcel bomb, which detonated at his residence, then located at number 25 Talabi Street, Ikeja, Lagos State. A journalist who died at the age of 39 was known for exposing corrupt and illegal dealings of the government and has earned him recognition. The assassination occurred two days after he had been questioned by officials of the State Security Service SSS. The Newswatch editor had just written an article on Second Tier Foreign Exchange Market SFEM. A central bank of Nigeria CBN policy introduced at the time. Under the SFEM policy, the determination of the Naira exchange rates and the allocation of the foreign exchange were based on market forces. In the piece, Giwa said if SFEM failed, the people would stone their leaders in the streets. Only Togun, the then deputy director of the SSS, later met with Giwa and said he did not find anything offensive in the story. But in a different turn of events, Ray Ebu, a colleague of Giwa, said Togun accused the journalists of planning to publish the other side of the story on the circumstances that led to the removal of Ebitu Ukiwi as a chief of staff to Ibrahim Babangida, former then military head of state. Giwa was also accused of plotting with the Nigerian Labour Congress NLC, the Academy Staff Union of Universities, ASU, and other groups to carry out a socialist revolution. Around the same time, Giwa was squeezed by Alilu Akilu of the Directorate of Military Intelligence, DMI, over an allegation that he had been seen speaking to some people about arms importation. He appeared at the SSS headquarters on the matter on October 16, 1986, two days to his assassination. On October 18, Akili called Giwa's home and asked his wife Fumi for directions as he wanted to stop by on his way to Kano. On the day of the assassination, a DMI official reportedly told Giwa over the telephone that the matter had been resolved after the journalist inquired about his frequent calls. Not long after the call, a package was delivered to Giwa which severely wounded him. He was with Kayode Shuhinka, London Bureau Chief of Newswatch, who narrowly escaped the blast after he excused himself to visit the restroom. Giwa was taken to the hospital, but later died. Buba Mawa, a former military governor of Lagos State, has been accused of being the courier of the bomb. No one has been convicted for Giwa's murder to date.